Welcome back to another episode of the Auto Cycle Build. On this episode, I do some welding. Remove those welds. Do it again. Set things on fire. Slap my knees. And sit on a thing. Stay tuned. It's six in the morning. Let's do a little bit of welding. So the reason I took all that off is we want to make sure that we're not having a bunch of heat sinks on our piece that we're welding. So I'm not exactly sure what happened here, but it looks like when I was welding, it shifted on me. You can see it's about an eighth of an inch off right there. So we're gonna take the weld back off, and then we're gonna take, reset it, and weld it up again. This time we'll just do a couple good tacks and then we'll wait till we get the MIG gun all up and running. This is for the rear swing arm, and I ordered these laser cut, and we'll see once the other brackets come in, if it's worth getting it laser cut, or if I wanna just make sure that it's all machined every single time. You can see the side that they started on, on this side, how smooth it is, but as it goes down in the laser, as it's cutting the thicker material, it kinda, tears away at the material so it's not bad 
it's gonna be good for what we're gonna be doing with it, but I think getting it machined might actually be better next time just because it'll leave a cleaner surface and I think the prices may actually end up being comparable for getting it machined next time. And we will take and taper in these edges a bit just because half inch material uh, in order to get a good weld we want to make sure that we bring it in a bit. Alright, so I got these all cleaned up. Got them on here. Take this guy off for a minute so we can slide it onto the swing arm. All right, so let's go ahead, snug this up. This way we create a little stopper ledge right there. Both seated at the same height. Make sure we're still good here. Looks good. Awesome. So the last thing I want to do since we have a swing arm now is I want to tack up the front steering. So we'll go ahead, measure this out, make sure we're good. this all welded up and I get the switch in for my spool gun then we'll go ahead and uh, final, do a final seam weld on all of it. So these came in from Exometry. They are way higher quality than those laser cut pieces that I got earlier. Uh, much happier with this overall and you can see from you can see it from our bushing here it is a direct snug fit and fits perfectly in here so what we'll do is we'll take and when we do a final install we'll go ahead and get some polyurethane and then glue them into this position right here and that way when we're bolted down they're not going to move anywhere since we need our backrest for the back suspension to be braced against we'll go ahead and get the lower portion of it cut up and tacked on there ahead and try it 30 degrees first and then see if that's good. single
we'll go ahead and grind down these welds so they're completely flat right here so we can go ahead and weld this straight on down onto here so now now that we have these flat we will go ahead put it on here clamp it down as best we can and then toss some tag welds on there All right, that looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and take our clamp off. We gotta wait for it to cool down, and then uh, I'll put a board across here, sit down, make sure that feels comfortable. Uh, if it doesn't, we'll take the we'll tack welds back off and uh, try again. But I, I think this looks like it's gonna be pretty comfortable. It's a good angle. This guy doesn't, isn't staying in there. Woo. Hot. And that right there is gonna be just about perfect and we're gonna have one on this side and one on the other side. So in a minute here, once it pulls off a little more, we'll go ahead and sit down. I went and put some tape across here. That way I can lean back on it and make sure that the writing position is perfect. So backrest is tacked on. The uh, writing position feels great. Uh, very comfortable. Absolutely exactly where I wanted it. So I'll catch you all on the next episode.